We're joined by Dr. Andrew Rubenstein, Section Chief of Obstetrics at Hackensack UMC, and Dr. Shafiq Rob, Chief Information Officer at Hackensack UMC. Thanks for joining us, gentlemen. Um, Doctor, we were having a discussion uh, offline. We're actually uh, doing a communication seminar in which you were talking to me about um, a new way, a different way of monitoring the amount of blood that uh, a woman loses during childbirth. It's, it's an FDA-approved mobile app. What's it called? It's called Triton. What is it? The company uh, Gauss Surgical. Um, it's a application-based product that allows us to quantify, which is to account for every drop of blood and know exactly what the blood loss is during uh, an operative delivery or a vaginal delivery or cesarean section. Why is this so important, Shafiq? So, in the olden days, surgeons used to have a scalpels. In the new day, surgeons have information technology. Right. So what it is, in the, uh, when you have a camera, you take a picture, and we are using an iPad and the camera in it to take a picture of a blood-soaked gauze piece. What it does, why it's important, because in the olden days, we used to say, if it's a C-section, 1,000 ml of blood. If it's a vaginal delivery, 500 ml of blood. Five, we, how much blood? 500? 500 milliliters Got it. of blood. But we never had the quantified number. We didn't really know? No, really know. Guess so, it. The guessing. Now we really know. And, and knowing exactly what it is, doctor, how does it help you and your colleagues in the delivery of a baby and protecting this mother? It allows for early recognition, and that's the key. It's, of? And it, of uh, distress of an increased risk of, of complications for mom during the childbirth process. We all know childbirth, in most cases, is a very happy event. Hemorrhage is an event with low volume but high risk. And we're able to capture that 10% of the population that is complicated by hemorrhage. Is it 10%? It's 10%. It's okay, let's, is it placenta hemorrhaging that we're talking about here? We're talking about Uterine acne is the, is the vast majority, or 80 to 90% of the causes for hemorrhage in obstetrics is due to uterine acne. The uterus not responding and regaining its tone, becoming boggy, becoming uh, almost like a uh, rotted pumpkin, and it, it needs to be tightened back up. Do we know why that happens? No, we don't. And that's the problem. And can we, you know we, beforehand? I'm sorry, do we know beforehand? Uh, so you asked the most important question. Because what we are trying to do, this is only one component. We are trying to do to understand high risk and risk before it happens. Yes. So to calculate that risk, we call it a MEOS, M-E-O-W-S, Modified Early Warning Obstetric Warning System. Uh, I don't warning know, system. Warning okay, system. so you're trying to find that all beforehand. So beforehand. So whether the woman has low hemoglobin, right. uh, whether it is a high-risk pregnancy, and blood loss complicates it. So if you know the risk before, and while, if suppose you're losing some blood and you lost a little bit more than you knew, then if you, if you, if you connect that to the uh, blood bank system, the blood comes up even before you said, send the blood up. You see? Yes. So before risk, during surgery, quantifying it, and after. So there are three stages. I think Dr. Robinson knows more than me. Prepartum, partum, and postpartum. So let's talk about this. How extensive is the utilization of the Triton system right now? FDA approved Correct. mobile app. How extensive is the use of it? Right now we're using it for our cesarean sections. We are going to be initiating and rolling out vaginal deliveries. This is going to redefine and revolutionize obstetrical care, not just at Hackensack, not just in the state of New Jersey. Eventually it's going to revolutionize women's health care and how we deliver obstetrical care across the country and That's across the world. That's a bold statement. I, I, I believe in this product. This is really going to give us state-of-the-art, precise blood loss during surgery and during a delivery. Does, does it change at all, Doctor, how, knowing this information, does it change any of the protocols? Well, interestingly, again, the, uh, the National uh, Partnership for Maternal Safety has now come out with these bundles. And one of the bundles that they're talking about. What do you mean a and bundle? A bundle, a bundle is a, uh, a structure of processes of uh, care to initiate and improve patient safety. Is it safety. best practices? 
It's utilizing best practices and utilizing guidelines and bundling and packaging those guidelines to give one definitive, authoritative, easy to do patient care derived uh, okay, safety. Okay, let's do this from, in the time we have left from the patient's perspective. If a woman right now is having a child, should she be asking her OB about this and saying, listen, I heard about this, I want to find out more? That is correct. At Hackensack UMC, we're trying to redefine how to do women's health care. Yeah, because so, the doctor said this is just, he believes it's going to be across the state, across the nation. So the fact is, no matter where a woman is, she should be asking for this. Why not? Why not? Because say, how, how do you know how much blood I lost? So that's the question she will know. And we know it's inaccurate. We know 50 to percent of, of estimating blood loss is actually inaccurate. So we're now giving you a system that's going to give you accuracy. And it's going to allow us, again, it's just part of the, the recognition system, and it becomes like a vital sign. Just like you go to the operating room and they put a blood pressure cuff on you. Just like you go to the operating room and they do a pulse on you, oxygen saturation. This is going to be real-time blood loss given to the team. And we have an amazing team together with nurses, anesthesiologists, obstetricians, um, that is going so to be real-time. every hospital really should be doing this, is what you're saying. That is correct. So we, call, will, we, we call it quantifiable blood loss. So that means we know... Quantifying blood loss yeah. is critical. Yeah, why not? Absolutely. And by the way, why did it take us so long to, to, to do this? 30 seconds left. Any reason why? I mean, we knew we were estimating or guess. We, we weren't as accurate as we should be. Hey, technology was not there. So power... The technology is there now. No, that's yeah. right. Thanks to Dr. Rab and his team and the Gauss surgical team, I, I think we've now integrated this and this will become best practices. Dr. Rubenstein and, and Dr. Rob, I want to thank you for joining us. Um, we're going to be learning more about this and monitoring yes. as it, we move forward because I have a feeling from this segment a lot of uh, women and others are going to want to know more. Thank you very much. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much. The preceding program has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence and 13 for WNET, NJTV, and WHYY. Funding for this edition of Caucus New Jersey has been provided by MD Advantage Insurance Company of New Jersey, New Jersey Resources, NJM, the Fidelco Group, the Russell Berry Foundation, Adler Aphasia Center, and by Kessler Foundation. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. Caucus New Jersey has been produced in partnership with TriStar Studios.